Okay, so we got our brand new hot end here. And make sure you got all four of your stainless steel tubes installed and your M2.5 socket head screws. And make sure to apply a small dab of Loctite at the tips of the screws. This is Loctite 243. So feed in your hot end. And make sure that the tip of the heat brake is actually inserted in the hot end. You don't want it to be canted. And then we can go ahead and torque down the socket head screws. So I'm just using the electric screwdriver to seat them in, not torquing them down yet. Because what I'm going to do is use a torque screwdriver. And this is going to be 0 0.9 newton meters. And I'm not doing one screw fully tight. I'm going back and forth to get even pressure. Okay. Next, we're going to install the part cooling duct. So I've got both of my socket screws here, M3 by 18s. And we're going to put a small amount of Loctite again. Just on the tips. So I'm feeding it into these two holes. So I'm seat them. And I'm using an electric screwdriver. You just need to get them hand tight. Reconnect the fan cable. And starting from the thermistor, connect that to the PCB. The farther cable. And the last one. So on some hot end, uh, some printers, print heads, we have a cable tie point right here. If your print head doesn't have it, you can ignore this step. So this just gives straight relief on the hot end cables. There's your new hot end.